Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We are today just looking ahead a little bit at what could be coming in the next few days as our next promo as Future Stars is kind of coming to a close throughout the rest of this week. We're in the last few days of having these Future Star cards and all of the Future Stars content out in this game. I want to take a look at what this promo might be that is coming up next. There's a lot of leaks and we're also going to enter into a small discussion today about how leaks are still affecting the market, but how leaks are kind of changing a little bit as well. As we have had two different promos leaked to be coming soon. They're both impacting the market. We've already seen panic selling because of one of the leaks, Foot Captains. But is that really the promo we're going to see? And e is EA starting to like try to confuse some of these leakers um, by putting in a lot of extra information into whatever game code that these leakers are seeing? And then also talk about how the party bag did not drop yesterday and just talk about the market as it is right now because SBC fodder is actually to the moon. Like SBC fodder is really, really high. And it's because of the lack of content, honestly, a lack of insane content apart from those big icon upgrade SBCs that were dropped earlier this week. So we're going to talk about all of that today. If you missed yesterday's second upload about icon moments, we have icon moments, dynamic images confirmed. I'll put the link to that video right up here. Make sure you go and check that out. There's a lot of great and useful information in there. But if you're excited for today's video, hit a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Well, what's, what's the next promo going to be, right? That's the question. We're kind of getting to the end of Future Stars. People are wondering what's next. There's already been panic selling on hero cards all across the game. This this uh, panic selling on especially Ginola is, is the card that, of course, most people recognize as being down the most, right? 720k for a card that was a million coins before this last weekend happened. There was a promo called Foot Captains that was leaked, but now it's looking like that might not be as likely. Now, what in the world was this? Uh, suppose that this foot captain's promo was hero cards that were captains for their club or country that were going to get upgraded. So, you know, players like Di Natale, Cordoba, you know, Dempsey, uh, Morientes, a, a lot of these hero items were going to be basically new versions of heroes, which is something that we've been looking forward to throughout this year of FIFA, at least in the past month or so, we've been looking to see, okay, a lot of these heroes are not that usable anymore, except for the top few. How is EA going to upgrade these or drop new versions like they said they were going to at the beginning of the year? Again, this is what everybody's been looking back to, saying that EA has said there may be additional versions of heroes made available as a part of campaigns and promos. We haven't seen those yet. So this leak, which was talked about uh, four days, five days ago uh, on February 10th, People were really excited about this because like, oh my goodness, new heroes, this could be insane, right? So that's what started a lot of the panic selling on a lot of the hero prices. Then of course, the flashback Neymar came and that dropped them even further. But in all honesty, we thought we were getting this promo next. But again, this just kind of goes and shows right now like what is going on with all the leak stuff. We now have people talking about and some of the leakers are talking about that Road to the Final might be the next promo, which would make a lot more sense because we were looking into this and like, man, when are we going to have Road to the Final? We don't have any live cards right now that, you know, articulate and are a connection to the Champions League games that are going on. We had some fantastic Champions League football yesterday. PSG and Real Madrid with the Mbappe goal in basically injury time at the end of the game, right? What a game that was. And we already have this hype that is building. It seems like we need a promo to go along with it and cards to go along with it. Now, before you stop me, don't believe what some people might tell you. These cards that are out right now, where's Rodrigo? These cards are not live. This guy's 200,000 coins. He dropped off. Take a look at this. Yesterday, after Real Madrid lost 1-0, this guy went from 214,000 coins. He was 190 flat. He's 190K flat. This card is not live. These are road to the knockout versions, right? Same thing with the Marquinhos that actually went up in price. Uh, Marquinhos wrote to the final. If it's on here, uh, I don't see it. Well, there's Marquinhos' regular card or his team of the year. But this 90 rated Marquinhos went up in value yesterday and spiked after Mbappe scored. You can see he went from like 620 to 670. But these cards are no longer live. Again, these were Europa road to the knockouts. We are in the knockouts. We have no cards right now upgrading. And again, EA did say road to the knockouts are only eligible for upgrades during the group stages. However, RTTK is just the start of our celebrations with more to come in the knockout stages of the different Europa Conference League, Europa League, Champions League competitions. So 
I think, and with this leak that was talked about yesterday, it would make more sense for the road to the final to be the next promo. But it really seems like the whole controversy around leaks right now is that EA is releasing a lot of leaks um, that, you know, it seems like EA is trying to confuse the leakers or at least maybe try to pinpoint where this information is coming from that people are leaking. Because from day one, I've imagined and I've thought that EA does not like leaks. Um, but, you know, they've been adding all this stuff, right? Think about Flashback Bale, the Genduzi SBC that everybody panic sold for or the R9 SBC that everybody was looking forward to. We've really been starting to believe these leakers and what they've been saying, like, as the book and as you know what's actually going to happen and now we've kind of figured out that ea is maybe throwing some facetious information in there that's not 100 percent true throwing some cards and some information and some leaks out there to try to confuse these people um but of course they tweet it out and then people panic and stuff like that so again he says here lots of cards that were leaked but others were real they do exist but i believe that most were added to not actually release so it seems like they're throwing some of these cards in to try to confuse people so again recently i feel like we've been not taking these leakers again we've always said it right i've always said in these videos that we take the leaks with a grain of salt or a pinch of salt we believe them right with just this little much of truth to them and i feel like we've been believing them with the full truth recently because they've been so on par and so accurate and spot on with the last few promos every single card has been leaked and accurate and it's come out and now that's not really the case so again i think we just it's it's a good way to keep ourselves in check that we need to not believe that every single day we're going to know the content that is going to be leaked uh, or the next promo a week ahead of time and kind of keep us in check that yeah just you know believe all those leaks with just a grain of salt but i'm still we have to talk about leaks because they impact the market like they have recently and even with, yesterday with a luis felipe sbc dropping that was leaked like an hour before content um, you saw the market move, right? Green link to this card, Malinkovich Savage Winter Wild Cards item went up like 30,000 coins. Then this SBC came out and it went down. So especially if you're trading around leaks or, you know, if your card starts to go down in value a lot because of leaks, there are still going to be those happenings and those circumstances on this market for sure. Um, and then, you know, we just have to be smart with this stuff and we just have to, again, just realize what stuff is really legit and what stuff just seems kind of far-fetched, right? A Ben Yetter, player of the month, that's not far-fetched. Like, that's pretty legit. He was in the voting, player of the month. It's player of the month time anyway. We're probably going to see multiple POTM SBCs in the next day, two days, three days. Um, with Premier League, Bundesliga, and League on all the votings are kind of ending. So that's just what I wanted to talk about with the leaking situation. Now, again, today into Wednesday... Um, you know, Wednesday is sometimes when we get loading screens and it could put all the controversy and all the hypotheticals to bed today. If we do get a loading screen telling us what the next promo would be. Also, we still maybe keep an eye on the leaks and see what people start tweeting out to see what people start posting, because as it seemed like the leaks that come, um, they happen really soon, right? The Neymar flashback leak was on Friday and the SBC came out on Sunday. It was like this. Boom, boom, right? The Luis Felipe, as I mentioned, the, the leak came out early this morning and the SBC was dropped the same day. So we're looking for maybe these leaks that seem more legit, more realistic, and their shorter time frame and shorter turnaround. And that's more of stuff that we can probably believe and see as true. But all leaks in general are still going to impact the market. And that's all I'm talking about leaks. All right. We've talked about leaks plenty long enough. Um, I really think this is just using my general, I guess, assumptions and the way that I think EA would like to put cards in this game. I feel like Road to the Final would be the next promo. I hope that they drop a loading screen for today. Honestly, yesterday's content on Tuesday with having the year in review player pick dropped again um, for the second week in a row, we had this Future Stars, sorry, not year in review, the Future Stars reunion player pick. Now you were able to do this repeatable three times. And now I have not done it three times. I did it twice. Um, both were L's I'm not doing this anymore. The packway did seem a little bit better on these, but it was just this SBC. Okay, whatever. And then they dropped the Luis Felipe, which I think is a decent card. Dynamic image is a little underwhelming. Yes, he's got a four-star weak foot. Yes, it's a Brazilian center back. But if you really need a Brazilian center back for your team, just go to Future Stars team number two and buy this Ibanez guy for 39,000 coins instead of doing a 100,000 coin SBC, right? These two are about the same card. 
If not, this one is just, it's better. I mean, yes, he does have less passing and less dribbling than Luis, Luis Felipe, but he has basically the exact same defensive stats and a little bit more pace. So this Ibanez for me is a better option and a better choice than the Luis Felipe, unless you're trying to run them both together. I don't think that that SBC is like horrendous value and it's Brazilian. So I know a lot of people like it. You see the upvotes here. A lot of people will like this, right? Because uh, it fits into the Brazilian meta, of course, with the Neymar SBC. A lot of Brazilian teams are out and being rocked right now. So they, that's there yesterday, from yesterday. So I understand why people want to go out and do that SBC, but we didn't see the party bag SBC, right? That was the big news. We were kind of hoping for that party bag. I said in yesterday's video, I thought it would either come yesterday or Thursday. I think I still stand by that. I mean, Wednesday today is still a potential opportunity for a party bag SBC, but it seems like in the past couple weeks, they haven't been dropping as many like of those gamble SBCs on Wednesdays. Um, Wednesdays have actually been pretty quiet for the past couple of weeks. So um, I, I think that they could drop it again today. That party bag is still... I think an SBC that we will see before the end of this week uh, that would contain future stars from team number one, team number two, that would contain honorable mentions cards and winter wild cards. So of course, if you see um, some you know leaks early into today or tomorrow saying that the party bag is going to come, I mean, I think to me that would that would seem pretty legit. Now, speaking of some of these, uh, the party bag, what's that going to do to the market? Well, you probably would see some more panic selling on these future stars cards. And a lot of you guys may be like, hey, yo, I really want a Florian Verts for my team, or I really want a Gravenberge or a Lacroix. I think as we get towards the end of this week, depending on if we get a loading screen, what the leaks are saying about a promo for Friday, these cards are probably going to get close to being a buy um, near this time frame. Maybe we'll have to wait all the way until Friday to see what the content is. If it's not that great, maybe these Team 2 cards will rise up a little bit out of packs like the Team 1 cards did for that weekend. So just kind of keep an eye on these cards. I still think that all of the future stars from team number two have a little bit more room to drop with content coming out uh, later on this week. So, I mean, other than that, for today's content on Wednesday, I think that team of the week 22, um, of course, that's a, a thing that we get every single week on Wednesdays. We are also very close to the end on the future stars swap tokens. I believe we have 26 tokens that have been released thus far in various fashions and, and forms. I think we have 26 tokens that have been released. That means according to EA's website, there were gonna be 28 tokens. So there are only two more that they will be releasing, whether be via SBC, via um, objective or whatever it is. It seems like there's only two more tokens to go and it would make sense for those tokens to be released on these last two days of future stars, right? Today on Wednesday, tomorrow on Thursday, and then on Friday would be, of course, whatever new promo is next. So that's kind of what I would imagine and what I would think. Um, of course, if you haven't opened your 85 times 10 yet, we actually opened the first time on stream yesterday, we opened a future stars team one player pick for the 25 token reward, which is like, man, it's really a gamble, right? But the gamble paid off because the one that we opened had Smith Rowe, Chow Many, and Konate in the player pick. Of course, Chow Many being a 1.2 million coin card on PlayStation, that was an incredible gamble that paid off big time for that guy. So, I mean, maybe if, you've, if you're still saving your swap tokens and you haven't decided what to do yet, you're going to get your last two of them, I think, here in the last couple of days. Now, some people are saying there's 30 swap tokens in general. That was a part of leaks. Again, the EA official website says 28. We'll see what they do. Um, you know, some people are saying that, well, the pack that is in the store that contains a swap token doesn't actually count towards that 28. In my opinion, based on what the EAA website read, I think that it does. So we will have to see. This again expires on Friday at the content drop as well. So I don't think there's gonna be another one of these uh, since it does run its course until then. So I feel like 28 tokens is gonna be the magic number by the time we get to Friday and by the time uh, Future Stars is ending. So if you're also wondering like Nate, right now, yes, there's 81 plus player picks. Yes, fodder is sky high because of all of these icon SBCs that everybody is doing. And I wanna show you guys fodder right now. Um, just to show you like the, the icon player picks, right? People absolutely love these. And the mid or prime icon that is repeatable with no limits, I'm pretty sure. At least I haven't done this, so I don't know if there's a time limit on this. Um, but fodder is sky high, but you may be like, Nate, how do I trade and make coins right now? We'll talk about that in a second, but just so that you guys can notice again, fodder is to the roof. And I think that last week or two weeks ago, 
Wednesday was actually kind of your high point for fodder. Now, if we have a party bag today, then I would 100% say that lower tier fodder, like 84s, 83s, 84s, 85s, I would look to cash out on some of that stuff. And I would imagine that with a promo this weekend, fodder would go lower and it would drop again. So this is an absolutely banging time. If you've bought fodder last weekend when we talked about it when it was really low, probably today, tomorrow would be a great time to get out, especially Wednesday. I think if we look back, even on like the index 86, let's see if this tells us any stories um, in the past week. You can see, oh yeah, Wednesday of last week on the, wait, Wednesday, February 16th. Sorry, I need to go to daily graph. Today is Wednesday, February 16th. So last week we had fodder spiked on Wednesday and Thursday and then bang, it dropped down on the weekend to kind of where it was. It dropped down a lot with the packs for Future Stars Team 2 and then rebounded big time even to a higher um you know, a higher range right now where we are. 86s are like, how much are these guys? 86s are like uh, 20K, 20, 21,000 coins. 88s are 37K a piece. All this fodder is crazy high. So I would look to get this stuff out in the next day or two, especially if like a Ben Yedder player of the month were to come out. The probability of Ben Yedder player of the month coming out today or tomorrow and being overpriced is very likely, like very likely because of how high fodder is. But again, Ben Yedder player of the month should be out for, you know, 30 days or 28 days. So it should be out for a long time. That's a positive to that type of SBC. But I think that fodder would be a sell in the next two days while it is crazy high before we get into the weekend again with more packs. But if you're again like, Nate, how do I trade right now on this game? Just do some of your most simple methods. Yes, it's a little bit grindy. Yes, it's like not glamorous and it's not crazy cool. It's not, you know, um, rocket science or anything like that. Let's go to like Tomiyasu center back, right? He is in team number two of future stars. His card right now on the market is about 70K, which I, in my opinion is still a bit overpriced, but people want to try this card. Ooh, okay, perfect example. Tomiyasu with the shadow right there is 70,000 coins. What well, does he actually sell for more than this with the shadow? If he sells for like higher than 75K, okay, he doesn't really right now at least. Maybe during the height of the day when there's more people on, he does. But what I would really encourage you to do is fluctuation trade, chemistry style trade, all those sort of things. That's the stuff that I'd be doing right now on this game. At When we get these year in review party bag packs, this is what I did yesterday. Um, I bought some Dean Natales because I knew that with the Luis Felipe and of course with this foot captain's promo not looking very likely, Dean Natale dropped under 130K yesterday and I bought a couple of them. Salah was like 670 or 680. I bought a couple of these for under 620. But other cards yesterday that were involved in the um, in the um, year in review player pick like Adidas numbers up Joao Felix, right? This guy was 500K, went down to 480 for a hot second, and he's now rebounded back up. He was just 530. There's a couple undercuts here at 512. You know, so cards like that are moving. If we get the party bag today, like I mentioned, future stars are going to go down. Um, the winter wild cards and the honorable mentions items, all the cards that are a part of that party bag that could get packed are gonna probably drop in price a little bit. Now, what you're gonna have to do is, again, find the ones that are the most rare, the ones that aren't really getting packed a lot, but people will be scared of packing, uh, and you see their prices drop, that's an opportunity to pick up on some of those for a potential rebound back later. That's where I'd be looking to trade right now on this game, on this market with stuff um, that is gonna continually fluctuate. There is still gameplay demand, right? This is the second week of people having to play more Rivals games to get their rewards, right? Four games to get your weekly reward and then eight games instead of seven to get your reward upgrade. There's still people that want to play foot champs. There's still people that are grinding this game. There's a lot of objectives that are out um, and fodder is expensive. So people are going to play these game modes to get packs so they can go complete SBCs, right? EA has done a really good job with keeping people engaged with gameplay this year with how they've set up rivals, champs playoffs and champs finals, in my opinion. So there's still demand out there and that creates opportunities to trade as prices move up and down on this game. So that's kind of what I'd be doing right now at the moment. And again, it just seems like yesterday's content wise was just kind of an L. It was kind of quiet, not a lot going on. Yes, the year in review is kind of cool. The 81 plus player picks are still out and people are doing that, um, which is draining coins off the market even more in itself. So just keep an eye out for today's content on Wednesday. It might be another slow day, but hopefully we would get a loading screen either today on Wednesday or tomorrow on Thursday some sort of loading screen, probably some more leaks as well, talking about what in the world is coming next on this game. If I have to guess, it's Road to the Final. But 
I don't have information. I'm not a leaker. I'm just pulling off my best guess because Champions League is starting back up again and they would have an opportunity to run the road to the final promo right now in this very two week window. If they wanted to make it two weeks, they could because in the next two weeks, you would have the ability to play the, all the first legs for a lot of these competitions, but also in the next two weeks because of an international break at the end of the month, I believe, or at the start of March, um, I believe there's an international break in there. I could be wrong, but there would be time for those cards to go out of packs before the second leg would be played. And that's where the hype would be, right? Because after the second leg would be how they maybe upgrade some of these. So we'll see what EA has planned in mind for that road to the final. That'd be a really high promo. And I really hope that it's next. Um, but it also does seem the most realistic to me. So we'll see what EA does and what they have planned. We'll be looking out for that loading screen today. We're continuing to make coins, buy cards, flip and sell. We are on the kind of the grind and, you know, the trading grind right now, trying to get ourselves as many coins as possible in the second half of the year, heading into team of the year, uh, sorry, team of the season, foot birthday. There's going to be a lot of promos with upgrade packs that I'm going to want to open upgrade packs for. Um, so that's what the motivation and the grind is for right now is getting those coins built up so that we have oodles of coins towards the end of the year, middle part to end of the year when they put more, even more insane cards out. And we want to hit upgrade packs and have a lot of fun with those and all the SBCs that they put out as well. So that's kind of my motivation and grind right now inside of this game, why I'm still trading and doing a lot of that. I'm also trying to put a little gameplay shift in. Uh, first time ever to Division One in any FIFA, and I'm really chasing after Elite. I really hope that I can get it this week. I'm halfway up. I was almost to that next checkpoint, lost a couple games. Now we're back down, so I'm trying to get this all the way up to that Elite Division. That would be, if I got Elite Division this week, that would be insane. That'd be a huge personal accomplishment. Yes, the insane pack look has helped, uh, but we're pushing for that. Putting a little bit more emphasis on the gameplay grind this week to try to get up at that elite division for the first time ever this year. And uh, and any FIFA getting above, you know, division two uh, was a first time achievement for me. So that's kind of what's going on with TFA this week. The coin making has been good. We are over 10 million coins if we went liquid. So we're going to keep that grind up, keep the train rolling, and hopefully EA drops at least something halfway decent today on Wednesday. Fingers crossed for a party bag because that would cause some nice market movements. And uh, we'd be able to trade and make some coins with that and have a, a little cheeky party bag to open and maybe get something sick as well. So that's the video for today, boys. Let me know down in the comments what you're thinking, what you're hoping for. Do you like the idea of foot captains? I'm not saying foot captains is not going to be coming, right? They've said that with the leaks too, but maybe that's just some info that was added early. We're not sure. It just seems like a jumbled mess in terms of leak right, leaks right now. So I'm going to focus on what's guaranteed, what we know is for sure and is legit. And that's stuff that is actually in this game and uh, not so much the leaks. So of course, if you did enjoy the video today, put a thumbs up on it and subscribe. If you are new, it has been Nate, the foot accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.